It's the best time of the month. It's time to go over the top 30 most watched and upvoted clips on the GTA Online subreddit. This really is one of my favorite series on this channel. And considering we just had a DLC launch in the past month, I'm expecting some pretty good clips. So if you enjoyed this video, a thumbs up would be awesome. Subscribe for more stuff like this and let's go. Right, starting off at number 30 from Neat Locksmith. He tried to grief me, so I just dot dot dot. Let's see, let's see what this dot 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 is. Okay, so this is Kayo. Kayo Perico. Now the villain is pretty strong. What are we doing? You're a serve CEO. The Don't Ghost Org, okay. Okay. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's some nice flying wall, dude. You're gonna crash in a building. This is some insane flying, dude. What? He's gone to the left. Is this like some sort of sneak attack that he's gonna try and do? What's going on? You have fifty-three million dollars, my guy. You are set. You are all good. Oh, the Velum's running out of gas. It's been hit pretty hard. Is it gonna make it to Kaya Barico? Maybe just. This is going to be close. Grief is coming back, though. Grief is coming back. Here he comes. Oh, this thing is struggling. Oh, it's done. It is done. Can it limp to the finish line? Come on, we are so close. Here comes the Griefer! What's gonna happen? The Griefer's pushing him! That's actually- the Griefer's helping. He didn't- what? He made it! Did he make it? I think he made it, right? The thing's not on the screen. He made it! Oh my god, and he blew up at the end. Dude, does it get any closer than that? And it's fine. The Velum's fine. It's fine. Nothing happened. We're good. We're good. Today's video is sponsored by Kingston Fury, the world's number one memory brand for gamers. Kingston has recently released the Kingston Fury Beast DDR5 RGB memory, designed to provide gamers with the highest performing memory products. DDR5 is the future and no doubt the best upgrade for both gaming and multitasking. Computers process more data than ever before and DDR5 allows users to crunch those numbers even faster, allowing for ultimate performance and a stable experience when it comes to both current and upcoming VR and AAA titles. The Kingston Fury Beast DDR5 RGB memory debuted at 4,800 mega transfers per second and up to 6,000 mega transfers per second. This helps to maintain a stable FPS, which helps users like me who like to multitask between gaming and content creation as well as saving us a lot of time through quicker video rendering. So I've got no doubt that when it comes to 4K video editing, gaming, streaming, DDR5 will be able to handle those tasks with ease. The Kingston Fury Beast DDR5 is Intel XMP 3.0 ready and certified, as well as qualified with the world's leading motherboard manufacturers. It comes with 16 preset lighting effects that allow users to set their own immersive vibe for gaming. So you can choose the best look for your PC with just a click. My favorite effects so far are the Spectrum, Teleport, Firework, and Rain effects. These ones look really cool, and there's 12 LEDs per memory as well, which means the lighting is going to be strong and vivid. You can also customize your own RGB effects to suit your own style with the Kingston Fury control software. You can personalize effects such as the direction, delay time, speed, and more. I currently use and love my Kingston Fury Beast DDR4 RGB RAM, so when it comes time to upgrading to DDR5, I have no doubt that this is going to be the perfect choice. You can find out more about the Kingston Fury Beast DDR5 RGB memory by clicking the link in the description below. Now let's get back to the video. That was a hell of a way to start off this this week or this month, man. That's, that was nuts. Okay, I think my back finally gave out after getting destroyed for years. I'm definitely. Ah! Like Alright, just get up and walk it off, bro. You're good. Oh! Oh, dude! <laughs> what? dude. <laughs> what the hell? I just used that car as like a ramp pin. Did you see that? Oh, that looks like that hurt, too. Looks like he forgot weapons are enabled on some maps. Okay, this, uh, this quality is wild, but that's alright. Okay, he's in. He's in second.
That guy got absolutely clocked in the finish lines right there. You're done. If only that was in better quality, though, man. What are, what are we recording our clips on here, guys? From a specialist fall. You know they're going to do it. Just break. I should move this up as well. Okay. This guy is going to absolutely play his competition. That was sick. That was absolutely nuts. Oh, dude. Dude. You know, if people just raced fairly and didn't try and be toxic, I think they would have a higher winning percentage. Is that just me? I don't know. We have another Kayo Perico set up. This guy was chased by two jets while flying to Kayo. See, this is why you gotta do it in invite only lobbies, guys. But it does make for some funny clips, I'll admit that. People don't understand how strong the Velum is in this setup. It is, like, buffed insanely in this setup. This guy's trying as well. Like, that one, they didn't even get close. That was kind of just sad. From the real murder 10k, it's been a while. Welcome back to the top clips. How to get past traffic in GTA 5. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna look at this in a higher quality, hopefully. What's going on with these clips? Uh, we're jumping up. Okay, dude. You know, it's been a while since we've seen Murder 10k. I think he just needed a little break, you know, a couple months, and then he's like, yeah, I'm gonna come up with some absolutely insane ideas again, and he's done it, and he's landed on top of a bridge. Like what? What are we doing? From lowercase raccoon, me and my friend were losing our shit over this. Yeah. Oh, he's wearing he's the raccoon like, mask as well. I like it. Down and up I like it. Miser. Yeah. <laughs> Dude! Dude! I was not expecting that. How the hell did that happen? Yeah. <laughs> Down and up in Miser. What did he even do? Yeah. How did he <laughs> launch the tank like that? And it hit the shot though as well. That's the most impressive part. From Super Lasers, my new favorite way to clear out the office during the Kyo setup missions. This is probably my favorite setup mission, but yeah, see, I do this all the time. You can just walk out of the room at this point. You're good. You can walk out of the room. Just let the fire spread. See, I only throw one. This guy throws a lot. That's cool. But I like to just throw one and watch it spread like Far Cry. It's fun. Come on, this last guy's got to go. Oh, we got a guy on the, the right and the left. We've got three lives still. Okay, that guy on the left, he's gone. Guy in the middle's gone. And now they're all gone. Oh, he's just smoking as he goes through. That's, yeah, swag, dude. Swag. That's cool. That's cool. From BF Hulm. We'll be right back. Oh, here they come. Oh, yeah. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. You're done. GG's. Hey, man, you had a good life. You had a good life. Next up, did bro just shit money? Let's have a look. Maybe he did, man. Hey man, it has to come from somewhere. It has to come from somewhere. Maybe he just had it shoved up there. We don't know. We don't know. From Shadier. Or Shade, Shad 3 -er. Shadier, Shader. I don't know. What's up with these low ranks? I don't know. What is up with these low ranks? Doing your, cell, uh, your popularity mission, okay. In the chrome buzzard. Here he comes. Little Timmy and his oppressor. What's little Timmy gonna do to embarrass himself? He's gonna try and take him out and miss and die. Timmy. You see, Timmy. 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 Or should I say, Jates31. No, no, no. No, no, buddy. See, the oppressor got a massive nerf. Um, That's not gonna fly anymore. Maybe consider switching vehicles, maybe switching games. I don't know that you want to show your face again after that. That was pretty bad. So, mm. From 215, Kurt was trying to get a nice screenshot of my car. I'll guess I'll just go F myself. What happened, Kurt? Who hurt you? Pretty cool. Oh, okay. Yeah, look. 
You're gonna need to take that one to LS Customs. <laughs> that civilian said, screw the insurance, I don't care. Get this out of here. <laughs> he did a hit and run. That was a bit of Grand Theft Auto there, if I say so myself. From Chris Prosky 01. Three second cray delivery. Three seconds, eh? Okay, he's hopping in the van. Three seconds, eh? One, two, three. It checks out. The story checks out. What a delivery. I don't know how you did that without dying, man. That is just well done. Well done. <laughs> There's a, uh, a few missions we've seen like that. I haven't got any of those bugs. I want one of those. I want some easy sell missions. What's going on, Rockstar? From Blue TV. Apparently GTA 5 is nearly nine years old. It is in, geez, like a month. Only like a month now. Wow. I mean, you'd never know. Wait, oh, these graphics though. Oh man. Oh man. Yeah, what are you running this on? These graphics look solid, so it's at least a PS4. Well, it's obviously PS4 at least, if it's the Vigilante. Oh my. Next up, we've got a Nightmare Fuel, and dude, I know where this is gonna be. This actually gave me good- Jesus Christ, dude, no. Don't do that, man. Yeah, don't do- don't do that, man. No, don't do that. That's- jeez. That was my reaction just oh. then. That was actually freaky. But no, these missions genuinely gave me goosebumps the first time. That was very, very cool and creepy. It didn't feel like Grand Theft Auto though. But uh, it was it was a good mission. I liked it. Finally found a use for the slam truck. No shot. How many bikes does this guy have on here? Let's get this quality up. This guy is delivering all four of his MC bikes that he needs to sell on a slam truck. Look at that. That's clever. I'm surprised they're staying on though. I don't know how they're staying on there. Gravity, that does not add up. Right, now I saw this. This is absolutely bizarre. The, uh, the fake fast food restaurant in GTA is called Cluck and Bell, right? Someone opened up a real Cluck and Bell in California. And, uh, We're a huge corporate. Okay, that's copyright, but surely this is some sort of copyright infringement, no? Unless this was like somehow set up by Rockstar Games. There is no way that's legal. Yeah, I don't think that is. I'm, I don't know. Do we think Rockstar was behind this? That's very interesting. From Stan Online YT, rank this stunt from 1 to 10. Okay, got the BMX. Now that was insane. I don't know how your neck is that strong, but... That's, uh, that's gonna be at least a 10, maybe an 11. I wanna know how, what, what were you grinding on there? Your wrists. How is your wrist and forearm that strong? You're gonna have some mad bruises there, my guy. Simeon, Simeon gonna regret opening up his dealership again. Oh, he's recreating the story mode. Drive right through the window. You know, Simeon, I don't know if he knows about the oppressor Mark II's nowadays. Destroying Los Santos. If he thought uh, Franklin crashing through that window was, was a problem. Wait till he sees what a lot of these griefers are doing out here now, man. Hope he's got insurance, I'll just say that. Next up, I'm so glad they will nerf the Mark II even further. So this, by the looks of it, is before the Oppressor Mark II nerf. Let's see what was happening. This guy's struggling. Doesn't know that this is an Amani Tech vehicle, but that's okay, and he died. Yeah, good payback as well. Just rub it in. Rub the salt in that wound, love it. See. See, these oppressive grief is not the smartest. I've said that before. I don't think they know that Amani Tech is in the game now. But, uh, yeah, it's a lot harder to grief people if they know what they're doing. Grief is zero. Sterling GT1. Now, the Sterling GT, this is the vehicle that's got the bulletproof windows now, yeah? With the bug.
Ah. They're trying. Yeah, see, so if you don't know, this was a um this is a bug that's still in the game. Or we took him out just as they were about to rocket him as well. That was very well played, sir. But uh, just like the Karuma was bugged a little while ago where you got the bulletproof windows, now the Sterling GT is bugged and it's got bulletproof windows. Yeah, I don't know what Rockstar's doing. They, uh, they don't have their coding figured out, I'll just say that. Okay, I'd say my life flashed before my eyes, but there wasn't even enough time for that. See, you're, look, to be fair, you're running a risk going in this tunnel. Oh, Jesus, dude! And you're alive? Huh? Where's it coming? Where it just spawns in thin air. <laughs> it was going so quick that you phased right through it like the flash. <laughs> this guy's Barry Allen out here. Nice, man. At number nine, with the new update, Velum's door has been patched. So we no longer have to come up with goofy ways to close it. Love it. It, that was always very annoying. Like, just the OCD. Oh, that was a very clever way to close it, though. <laughs> That's one of the best ways I've ever seen anyone close that door. I'm glad they patched that, though, because that was... Just the OCD did not like that door being opened. From a lucid dreamer went to my apartment to avoid a griefer. This lasted for about 30 minutes. Not gonna lie, it was pretty fun to watch. Hey, that's just sad, man. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, that's just sad. You're really that pissed at shooty steel car game that you're gonna, gonna do that to someone? You're gonna sit outside their apartment and just be sad? Come on, bro. Surely there's, like, something else to do. Surely there's one thing in your life that you would rather do than that. Like, that can't be the number one thing that you want to do. From a baked potato, technique for accurately dropping bombs or carpet bombing. Okay, I'm down to learn. Because I suck at this. Let's all learn how to properly drop carpet bombs, guys. Look at the very bottom center of your screen. And that is where you aim. No matter how fast you go or how high you are, it is accurate at least 80 to 90% of the time. To the bottom center of your screen. You'll need first person vehicle. Okay, yep. So turn that setting on. That's where you aim. Interesting. Hey, that's actually very, very smart. I mean, yeah, it looks like it works pretty much perfectly. Thank you for the tip. Yeah, that looks like it works. Very nice. From Tesco, today was the peak of my GTA experience and it's, there's a Kasatka on its side, on the runway. I don't, I don't wanna know how I got there. But how are we gonna get rid of it, is the question. With an Alkanost, by the looks of it. Oh, he's flying it away. He's gonna fly it away. Wedge it in there, just up against the back wing, just like that. Good. All right, looks, it's locked in. Safety straps on. And we have lift off. Can we see this from like a further camera angle? I wanna see what this looks like. Imagine being one of the people on the ground, just looking up at this being thinking, thinking what the, what on earth? Is that a flying submarine? Is that the Oppressor Mark III? <laughs> Dude. I love how it's bright red and bright green as well. Just flying through the sky. There's no way you're going to land it on top of the Maze Bank Tower. Oh, we'll get it on the Mile High Club. That's a pretty good start. The Alkanost is dead, but looks like the Kaseka is still alive, and that's all that matters. Very well done. Oh, look at it up there. Beautiful. It is a work of art. The best landmark in Los Santos, if I say so myself. Oh, there goes the Alkanos. Slowly falling off the side. <laughs> nice, dude. I love that. Alright, we're into the top five. I'm so sad Rockstar removed this game mode. 
Well, it there. should be coming Don't back. Do it. <laughs> it should. Get him! Get him! Yes! This, this is my favorite oh game mode in the game. Right. No, no, he's fucking hacked. If you have a group of friends to do this, this, no, this no. is the best. Get off him! No! No, you get zero points for that. There's no way you get five for that. Slowly <laughs> sliding off. Through the wiggle. Through the wiggle. Right. Some of my best right. memories of GTA over the past two years five. probably come from what this mode. These guys are just messing around, having fun with mates, and that's what GTA is meant to be, man. I wish these paid a bit more so that people would do this more, you know what I mean? But this game mode will be coming back. It's either this one or Hunting Pack. Both of those I absolutely love. Alright, Refrigerator. Okay. 6242. Two. Throwback clip of my smoothest takeoff. You got the Luxor. Oh, you're going up backwards. Oh, this is not looking good. Oh, this is not looking good. How the hell did you do that? What? From Bon Baffle, the animation is messed up for sliding across the Sylvia. This happens 100% of the time. Okay. Let's see what's going on. Oh my god, dude, what the heck? Why do you do the 360s? That is just random. I don't even know how that like is a is even a thing that can possibly happen. I didn't even know that was an animation that was in the game. That's wild. At number 2 Thank you, Rockstar. And I'm sure that's probably sarcastic. What did Rockstar do? What did they do? This car looks like Doc Hudson. Oh, the oppressor's trying to take him out. That might be the worst Oppressor Mark II fail we've ever seen. And the reason for that is because, like, he got caught in 4K. Like, we saw perfectly what happened to this guy. Look. Right. There. <laughs> right. Where is it? Right. <laughs> there. There. <laughs> It was at this moment that Shadow knew he fucked up. Oh, man. Oh, man. The Oppressor Mark II is such a meme. All right, at number one, the real murder 10K is back on top. Well done. Well done. He's not only back in the top 30, he's back in number one. Petition to make this a garage you can buy for like 30K just for the memes. Let's have a look. He's got the Rocket Voltic. What stunt are you going to do for us today? Out to one of the furthest islands. Right in there. I wonder what your, your process is like. You just go around the outside of the map thinking, hmm, what random building can I wedge myself into today? Uh, you found this one, and you've absolutely nailed it. I mean, look, your stunts are absolutely insane. Twist it to the side, slides right through the door. He's a genius. He's a menace. No building, no hole is safe with Murder 10k on the map. Well done. And that's a great way to end. So we'll wrap the video up there. If you enjoyed, a thumbs up would be awesome again. Subscribe for more stuff like this. Thank you again to Kingston for sponsoring today's video. Hope you stand safe, and I'll see you in the next video. Boys!